a spouse tell their significant other where they are going if it's going to be days at a time? Uh, yeah. Get your money, sis. Fuck the hater. Get your money, sis. Get your hater. Make your money move. I ain't mad at you. Yeah, it's all about the cleaner. Get your money, sis. Get your money, sis. Fuck a hater. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Two Cent Tuesdays with Jenny, where you will be getting my unsolicited, unapologetic opinion about what's going on in the world today. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you are notified every single time I post a new video. And don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up. Okay, let's get right into it. Do it. So I got two things that I want to talk about today. So the first thing that I came across recently on the Shade Room was that VH1, either it came out or it's coming out, held a Love & Hip Hop Secrets Unlocked episode. And in that episode, Princess Love and Ray J wouldn't mind having a third child despite still going forward with the divorce yeah um Ray J said all you need is sperm to get pregnant and she says she would not mind having his third child but it would not be conceived the traditional way and she would not get back with him she still wants to follow through with a divorce <sighs> what do y'all think about this well my quick two cents on the situation. I have heard other women say like, you know, they wouldn't want to have children by different men. They would, you know, when you when they have their first child with somebody, they prefer that same person to be the father of all of their children. However, The two of them have been going through a very, very public divorce, separation, whatever the hell they're having. Because Princess Love loves to post her relationship on social media and gives us something to talk about almost all the time. And yeah, I just don't think that would be healthy. I personally would not want to bear a, a third child into a toxic situation like you are now like you already have to deal with him forever because you have two children with him but to add another third child to that toxic situation i just don't think it would be fair to the child like you understand what i'm saying one child is enough it, it, it one child is a lot to manage even if you do have someone there to help you. Now imagine you trying to do three kids by yourself. Even though he'll be there but not be there. You understand what I'm saying? Um, Yeah, I just don't agree with that. But I don't know. What do y'all think? Y'all think that's, that's cool? I don't know. I just feel like they're not... I hate to say it, but Ray J is not mature enough to me... To want for me to want to have a third child with him yes the babies are beautiful but his behavior and his narcissistic attitude i could not imagine me having a third child with someone like that let alone even one um however i don't know if ray j's you know if this is a caricature caricature whatever the word is for tv or if he's really like that in real life but i know they got real life problems and i just don't i can't imagine bringing a third child into that situation so i don't know what you guys think comment down below me i say uh-uh not feeling it moving on to the main topic i am a huge fan of the real housewives of atlanta i am not a fan of the entire real housewives franchise i do not watch the other housewives like any of them i only watched real housewives of atlanta um and i've been a fan for many many years i don't even know what season they're up to but whatever so the new season has recently come out and we have some new cast members on there 
we now have Drew Sedora. Some of you guys might know her from the TLC movie where she played t boz But I know her from the game. And I'm sorry to say, but Juice Adora, I still got beef with you because of what you did to Melanie. And sometimes I have to learn to separate her from the character that she played. But being that her name was Juice Adora on the show, in my mind, you broke up Melanie and Derwin. So for that, you know, I still, I'm still in my feelings a little bit about you. But I understand it's a character. But I'm watching you, Juice Adora. Anyway... Um, yes, Juice Adora is an actress, and she is now on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. She came in as Cynthia's friend, and she introduced her family. She has a husband. They have children. They, um, they've been married for, I think, six years, and they've been together for 12, I think. Don't misquote me, but they've been together for a long while. Um, her husband, Ralph Pittman, I'm not sure what he does. They did say it on the show, but I can't remember. The first episode, Drew Sedora mentioned, there was another young lady that was um, really annoying. She's a YouTuber, I think. I don't remember. I think Latoya something. Um, I don't know. Something about her rubbed me the wrong way. But she was talking about how her and her husband is separated and how she does what she wants because they're separated. So Drew made a statement like, you know, that's not right. That's not, you know, that's not how marriage works. And the girl's like, well, where are we separated? She's like, yeah, but you're still married. Whatever. Long story short, Drew brought up recently, she said her husband left their home for three days and didn't tell her where he was or where he was going or that he even left. So everybody's like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Three days. You don't know where your husband is. Okay. Then I think the second episode, this is the clip of her and her husband discussing the situation. You go for a trip. Do you feel like it's important to tell your wife that you're leaving A and B that you're going for days and where you were? Because you left the other day and I still don't know where you were. You don't really truly understand men and how we work, especially black men. If What's I that got leave, to do with the question? It's really truly in the spur of the moment because I need to get away. Okay. And I'm making the best decision I possibly can make at that moment. Staying is worse than me leaving. And I leave because you have no idea about the pressure that I have that's on my shoulders. I came from nothing. I'm the first generation where I'm trying to create what a true legacy looks like. That's why I married no, you, though. No, it's not, though. I'm actually you know, agreeing with you. We're, well, like, here. If, if, we're if we really were here, we wouldn't have this problem. Okay, Turn hold on. Hold on. Like, hold on. Oh, my God, you asked me a question. See, I knew this was a setup. We still haven't addressed the issue. I, I understand I it. I'm going to get to the root if you, you know, you, you, you know what? I, Go ahead, so I just wanted you to have under, ask it from much. Like, going back to it because you danced around it. Like, you left. Yes, you did. I didn't know where you were. Correct. You didn't take my phone calls. You didn't talk mm -hmm. to me. You didn't text me back. I did. Unless go it and, was about go the house. No, go and check your text messages. No, 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 I, not one single on, text on, message on. went without being returned in one minute. What planet? You can leave the house and you're married and you can't tell your wife where you're going, where you are. Like, that's crazy. I was always assessed. Where, where, okay, okay, where were you? It's not about it that. It is. It's where did you that. go? You can't tell me where you went. I told you I was at the beach. At I was the beach at the doesn't tell me where is where. For three days. Nice in all different states. Drew. Were you out of Georgia? So, so tell me this. Did tell you leave this. Georgia? Absolutely. Where did you go? If you don't feel like you need to tell me where you went, then we can get in it right there. Okay. Before I even say anything, let's, let's, um... Get those comments down below what y'all think about this conversation. Go there right now. I want to know. And now I'm going to drop my two cents in there. Okay. To me, I feel like because I'm a writer, I, I can text like crazy. Like I used to text chapter books of my feelings and what, what, you know, what was going on. If something's bothering me, like long paragraphs, I can text. And I don't know if you ever done something like that and a guy will literally take out one sentence out of that whole paragraph to elaborate on. And it's like, 
But that's that's not what that, like you just bypassed the whole picture and just went and targeted on that one thing. Now her question was, you got up and left this house, didn't tell me you were leaving, didn't tell me where you were going, was missing for three days, you text, but you wouldn't tell me where you were. He goes in about being a black man and he like the pressures uh, that he has to deal with every day. Such a cop out. Facts. My sister's right here. <laughs> um, it was a cop out. But what I will say is I did learn through past relationships that yes, sometimes we don't understand the pressures that men particularly black men deal with on a regular basis black men not all but some have a lot they have a very hard time with expressing themselves if something happened to them at work or throughout the day or something bad happens sometimes they don't really know how to express what they're feeling or what happened so they come home and they keep it in they bottle it up they get angry and they don't talk to you about it not all some and you know we could be going through whatever we're going through and we're gonna let all of that out like yo you didn't do x y and z da, da, da. like we don't even care that you had a hard day we don't even know that you had a hard day though but that's the problem and it's just like it makes us look like the bad guy because we had no idea what your day was like we just know that you didn't wash the dishes or take out the garbage so I get where he was going with that. Like, sometimes it's easier to just walk away than to sit there and keep going back and forth. Not for three days. However. That's single man shit. I okay. <laughs> Sidebar. But you don't walk out your house and don't tell your wife where you're going because of a whatever argument or whatever the case. And then to go missing for three days, bro. No answer, no text, no call, no he was answering the text messages, but he would never say where he was. He was at the beach. That is your wife. That is the mother of your children. We are in the middle of a pandemic, number one. And what if something would have happened to you? You understand? Like, that's selfish and it's irresponsible. Like, your wife should know where you're going. I'm sorry, but my head immediately said you was with a chick. Because where, who you at the beach with? I mean, don't get me wrong. Sometimes people do go places to clear their mind by themselves. Absolutely. But what is the secret? You could have been like, yo, babe, I'm at Venice Beach, which is he ultimately, it didn't show in that clip. But he said, I was at Venice Beach. Why couldn't you just say that? Why do this whole, like, he seems like somebody that just avoids all of that and he tries to make it seem like it's something she's doing wrong to justify his wrongdoing you understand what i'm saying like that just didn't make no sense to me three days bro that's wild disrespectful you're married it's just irresponsible even if you live with someone and you're not married but this your living boyfriend living girlfriend i think it's only fair and responsible to let your spouse know where the hell you going because i'm pretty sure if she would have packed up and dipped out of that house for three days even for a day she would have been the world's worst mother the world's worst wife a hoe cheating everything would have got labeled on her if she would have done something like that so i think it was just really unfair for him to think that it was okay for him to do that and feel like he didn't have to explain himself to her like no sorry no should a spouse tell their significant other where they are going if it's going to be days at a time uh yeah especially if you're married i don't give a damn if you're going to the corner store let me know i'm going to the corner store you understand what i'm saying like or even if you walked out angry and you didn't feel like telling me right then but at least like text me like i'm i'm okay i'm at the store or i'm okay i'm just sitting in the car but don't leave somebody just clueless as to where you are you understand what i'm saying so um yeah i didn't like that at all i think she has um something i i don't even honestly i don't even think i would have put that on tv 
because it's going to leave room for stuff like this for us to be talking about it i think they have something serious that they really need to work on um communication is key in a relationship and there was no type of communication going on on his behalf and i just think it was really selfish and really unfair and really 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 sus that dude thought it would be okay to go to Venice Beach, leave Atlanta to go to Venice Beach for three days and don't tell his wife where he was. Nope. Miss me with that. There's no way that you're going to get away with that without me thinking that you was with another woman. Now, I know you fellas is going to be like, how you know he ain't just go somewhere to clear his mind? Then say that. Why you can't let me know? Yo, I'm in Venice Beach. I need to clear my head. I need some time. I don't want to say or do something I'm going to regret. So I'd rather just take some time to myself. There's nothing wrong with that. We're all human. Sometimes you do need to step away from a situation, whether it's a relationship, whether it's friendship, whether it's work. Sometimes you need to take a break to, to collect yourself so that sometimes you don't act out and say things that you're going to later regret or do things that you're going to later regret. So sometimes you do need that time. But when you're married, there's a responsibility of telling your spouse where you are going. Unless you got something to hide. Sir, um, it didn't end well and it's sad because that was actually their anniversary dinner. So it was kind of unfortunate that they had to. But that's what happens when you're going through things in a relationship and, you know, there's issues piling on top of issues. Some issues can come up at any given time. Like you, you know that song, Love and War? Like, no, sometimes you can literally just be sitting there chilling, kiki and having a good time. And something just triggers in your mind, most times on the female's behalf, that will bring up something and the whole vibe is just thrown because you're sitting here thinking about something that upset you and now you want to talk about it. Even though this was a time to celebrate. You know, that's kind of a female trait, but... It happens. Like, you know, sometimes you happen. And that's when you know there's issues that need to be worked on because you can't even bring yourself to enjoy a good time because this is something eating away at you. So this is why communication is key. Just talk about it. Don't bottle things up. Don't put things to the side. Address things right then and there because when you do that, it ends up coming up at, a, at, at the wrong time. Anyway, with that being said... That's a wrap. Done. Da, 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 da. Doing all the talking. Um, thank you guys for watching as always. Tune in next Tuesday. Enjoy your holiday. Christmas is Friday. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. Everything will be up top and in the description down below. And Jenny is.